what part of the aorta carries blood to the diaphragm your options are celiac trunk superior mesenteric artery phrenic artery or inferior mesenteric artery the correct answer is c that is phrenic artery the phrenic artery branches off from the aorta to supply blood to the diaphragm crucial for breathing question number 32 which type of doctor specializes in treating aortic condition your options are cardiologist neurologist oncologist or nephrologist the correct answer is a that is cardiologist cardiologist specializes in heart and vascular diseases including condition related to the aorta question number 33 what diagnostic tool is used to monitor the size of an aortic aneurysm? Two options are blood test, x ray, ultrasound, or ECG. The correct answer is C, that is ultrasound. Ultrasound is commonly used to visualize and measure the size of an aortic aneurysm over the time question number 34 what type of blood flows through the aorta your options are deoxygenated oxygenated mixed or lymphatic The correct answer is B that is oxygenated. The aorta carries oxygen rich blood from the left ventricle to all parts of the body. Question number 35. Hello friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today you are attending 50 most repeated and most important question answer session based on aorta. And this is the part 2 of the series. I am sure that you don't want to miss the first part. And the link of the first part is given in the description. So let's challenge your quality of learning. Let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part 1. So do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of questions. And at the end, if you find this video helpful, then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams. Let's continue. Question number 35. Which amazing technique can help to assess aortic integrity in emergencies? Show options are CT scan, ultrasound, x-ray or PET scan. The correct answer is A that is CT scan. A CT scan provides detailed images of the aorta, helping to quickly diagnose conditions like aortic dissection or aneurysm in emergency situations. Question number 37. What is the purpose of aortic wall replacement surgery? The options are to increase blood flow, to repair a torn aorta, to replace a damaged aortic wall or to remove plaque from the aorta. The correct answer is C that is to replace a damaged aortic wall. Aortic wall replacement surgery 
perform to fix or replace a malfunctioning aortic valve, improving blood flow from the heart. Question number 38. What is the typical age of one set for aortic diseases like aneurysm? Your options are childhood, adolescence, middle age or elderly. The correct answer is C that is middle age. Aortic diseases such as aneurysms typically develop in middle-aged individuals, often related to risk factors like hypertension or cholesterol. Question number 39. Which structure connects the aorta to the left ventricle? Your options are mitral wall, aortic wall, tricuspid wall or pulmonary wall? The correct answer is B that is aortic wall. The aortic wall is situated between the left ventricle and the aorta, allowing oxygenated blood flow into the aorta during heart contractions. Question number 40. The thoracic aorta travels through which part of the body? Your options are abdomen, neck, chest or brain. The correct answer is C that is chest. The thoracic aorta is located in the chest cavity and supplies blood to the organs and tissues in the in that area question number 41 dear friends there is one more announcement dear friends as per your suggestions we have started a new youtube channel where we are conducting exam or assessment based on science topics i'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even neat exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and NEET exams. If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams, then please visit and attend the test over there. And the link of the channel has been given in the description. Let's continue. Question number 41. What is the primary cause of aortic stenosis? Two options are congenital defect, aging, infection or all of the above. The correct answer is D that is all of the above. Aortic stenosis can be caused by congenital heart defects, age related to calcification of the wall and infections like rheumatic fever. Question number 42. Which condition is characterized by a tear in the inner layer of the aorta? Your options are aortic regurgitation, aortic dissection, aortic stenosis or aortic aneurysm. The correct answer is B that is aortic dissection. Aortic dissection occurs when a tear forms in the inner layer of the aortic wall, allowing blood flow between the layers and potentially leading to rupture. Question number 43. Which demographic is most at risk for aortic aneurysms? Your options are young athletes. Women over 50, older men, especially smokers, or children? The correct answer is C, that is older men, especially smokers. Older men, particularly those who smoke, are at higher risk for developing aortic aneurysms due to weakened arterial walls. Question number 44. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर वट हैपन्स टू दर्टा ड्यूरिंग एन एयोर्टिक रेप्चर ऑप्शन सा इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट एक्सपैंड इट बर्स्ट कॉजिंग इंटरनल ब्लीडिंग और इट हार्ड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज इट बर्स्ट कॉजिंग इंटरनल ब्लीडिंग An aortic rupture involves the bursting of the aorta, leading to massive internal bleeding, which is often fatal without immediate medical intervention. Question number forty-five: What is the average lifespan of an aortic graft after replacement surgery? Your options are twelve years. Five to ten years, ten to twenty years, or over twenty years. The correct answer is D. That is over twenty years. Modern aortic graft can last over twenty years, allowing patient to live with a significantly reduced risk of aortic complications. Question number forty-six. What is the main purpose of the aorta's elastic fibers? Your options are to prevent tears, to allow expansion and recoil, to transport nutrients, or to regulate blood flow. The correct answer is B. That is to allow expansion and recoil. The elastic fibers in the aorta enable it to expand with each heartbeat and recoil to maintain blood pressure and flow. Question number forty-seven: Which of the following can lead to aortic dilation? The options are high cholesterol, hypertension. genetic disorder or all of the above the correct answer is d that is all of the above conditions such as high cholesterol hypertension and genetic disorders can contribute to the weakening of the aortic wall leading to dilation question number 48 what lifestyle factor can help to reduce the risk of aortic diseases your options are high fat diet smoking regular exercise or sedentary lifestyle the correct answer is c that is regular exercise engaging in regular physical activity helps to lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels reducing the risk of aortic diseases question number 49 what is the common symptom of an aortic aneurysm the options are headache chest pain abdominal pain or fatigue the correct answer is c that is abdominal pain Aortic aneurysms often cause abdominal pain as they enlarge and press against surrounding tissue and organs. Question number forty: What diagnostic tool is used to monitor the size of an aortic aneurysm? Your options are blood test, X-ray, ultrasound, or ECG The correct answer is C that is ultrasound. Ultrasound is commonly used to visualize and measure the size of an aortic aneurysm over time. Time is to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell 
so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy, see you.